Macedonia, the crossroads of Northeast Ohio. It's a quickly expanding town, expanding so quickly that some people think older buildings should be torn down to make more room. But one such home is Longwood Manor, the home of Colonel William Frew Long, Macedonia's first mayor. The 84-year-old home has been condemned and is in a state of disrepair, and the city and several residents are pushing for its demolition. Anybody with a historical sense can't talk about Macedonia without mentioning Colonel, Colonel Long. And it's not only the restoration itself, but it's preserving history. To really appreciate the manor, you have to understand the man who lived there. Mayor Long was born on April 28, 1880 in Allegheny, Pennsylvania, to a family that stood to gain from the free oil fortune. But in the 1890s, the oil panic lost the family their holdings. In despair, his father drank himself to death and Long was forced to quit school at age 11 and go to work. Long spent 20 months in the U.S. Army Air Service during World War I. When he was tested for entry, he was given the equivalent of a college diploma. He was promoted to major, then lieutenant colonel, then full colonel. Longwood Manor was built in Macedonia in 1926, even though Long still lived in Pennsylvania. Longwood Manor was intended as a summer home. Before its completion, however, it was burned to the ground with suspicions of arson. The manor was fully finished the next year, and he permanently moved into the manor in 1950. It wasn't until 1961 that elections were held for Macedonia's first mayor, which would elevate the community to township status. Long campaigned for and won this honor. In 1970, for the mayor's 90th birthday, the city threw him a huge party with over 350 guests and declared it William Frew Long Day in Macedonia. And this 90th birthday party was really something. They had uh, the, the public come to the high school first. They had a big cake for them and everything, and the, the public came. There were cheerleaders there. He was known as a, a, a ladies' man. I mean, he would go for the ladies even though he was old. And uh, he had fun with the cheerleaders. I mean, boy, if I was like 25 years old, I can't. <laughs> but he was, he was a comic. In 1972, President Nixon visited Macedonia and was given the key to the city by Mayor Long. A week later, the mayor received a pleasant letter from the White House thanking him for his hospitality. Mayor Long gave his most generous contributions in the later years of his life. St. Timothy's Episcopal Church used to have no official meeting place and would gather at Northfield Town Center. Apparently, the mayor had an extra five acres he wasn't using. On uh, Christmas Eve in 1977, he, at the age of 97, walked up the stairs to where the church was meeting and put the deed to the five acres of land in the offering plate when it was being passed around. Uh, and everybody kind of laughed, but he was serious. I mean, and the church did get built within, within that five-year period. I don't think we would have been able to buy this land to put the church up. So without his help, you know, we, would, we certainly wouldn't be here. So he, yes, he did give land also to the Longwood Y and to Longwood Park, you know, to the city for, for all the many things that he, that, that he cared for and, and institutions he wanted to support. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's still a lot more to find out about him. As Mayor Long grew older, he enjoyed his time by riding horses on his farm and driving around the city in his Cadillac. He attended a high school football game at least once. It was probably for the cheerleaders. The mayor had a particular fondness for yogurt. And he had had a special yogurt maker. It was this huge pot that she'd make yogurt in, and he, he ate yogurt every day. And he lived to be 103, so you tell me, you know. Mayor Long died in Hudson Elms Nursing Home on January 7th, 1984. To this day, he remains the oldest mayor ever in office in the U.S. The home of this extraordinary man has seen so much history. And when you think about it, the house that he lives in saw Model T cars. It saw a man land on the moon. I mean, look at the diversity. It's seen cell phones, laptop computers. What can you, and, and the house itself is a testimony to the, the materials it's been built with. When you think about it, that really gives some perspective into just how long this house has been around. The Longwood Manor Historical Society exists today for the sole purpose of protecting the mayor's legacy and keeping his house standing. He recently showed several of Macedonia's historical items at the Nardonia Hills Library. Due to the fact that we had that 
showing of our historical stuff here at the library, uh, we gained five more volunteers. Looking for more males, not right now. <laughs> Females can't do everything, but uh, at this point, all of us are working at trying to save the house. The Western Reserve Historical Society, also suffering from money problems, has been forced to auction off many of their historical items, including rare automobiles. Is this what we've come to? Forgetting the past and where we've come from? Okay, Macedonia has some preserved history. This building was actually one of Mayor Long's offices. It's available for rent. Recently, the city received a donation, this statue of firefighters. It commemorates the tragedy of 9-11 that happened in New York. Eventually, the statue will also need to be preserved. You know, as far as I'm concerned, I started out trying to give back just to fix this house up. The house basically taught me that, you know, there's more to it than just, you know, mortar and bricks. We love the manor. It kind of grows on you. You walk into that place and it kind of, you get this feeling of closeness. Um, I, I don't know, I can't explain it. But there's just something about that house. I don't know if it's because it's historical or because Colonel Long lived there or what it is. It would be very good if it could continue to, to be here and that if money could be raised so that it could be a safe place. And then maybe we could turn it as actually some sort of a museum, you know, that we could talk about the history of, of Macedonia and, and this part of Summit County. You know, there's just very few of us and we say, well, there's some divine inter intervention. He's trying to tell us, keep going. So if anything, we'll have a nice story to tell in the end. Right. So. All right, thank you. You're welcome.